Hi, I'm Chuck Dorsett for Weaver Leather Craft Supply and this is the Leather Element. Send us a question and once a week we're going to do our best to give you a great answer. Now this week, incredibly important and I don't see anything out there about it. Not really a question coming in, but a great topic. Math for crafters, math for leather workers. What's going to help us in our shop? And you'll be surprised. There's one number out there that is incredibly useful. In fact, it's so easy we can just about do all of this in our head. All right, but let's do this though. We're crafters. I can think in terms of a project. I can see a long list of rules. And if you're anything like me, maybe retain about half of those. But if I see it done, or if I think in terms of a project, everything falls into place. All right, but this is where this is critical though. Am I buying or am I billing? Well, it's usually easy enough with the cuts of leather available to determine ballpark how much leather I need for a project. But it gets critical when I jump over to billing. Am I gonna sell my project? If so, I need to know every square inch of leather and exactly how much that leather's costing me. You'll be surprised how easy this is. In fact, we're gonna go right down to the most difficult part and you'll be surprised. All right, but as crafters, let's think of a project, okay? 10 inch round duffel bag, easy enough. It's not very big, but a great number to deal with. 10 inch round, okay? Now, my main panel, how long does that need to be to encircle that 10 inch round? Easy enough, 10 times pi. 10 inches times 3.14, that panel will meet spot on every time. Now, here's what's cool. That works in reverse as well. Say I wanna make the biggest duffel bag I can. My leather is 30 inches wide. Well, how big does my round need to be? Easy enough, 30 inches divided by pi, about nine and a half inches. Now I can get my calculator out to make that spot on, and if I'm sewing, I need to add for my overlay. But other than that, that is incredibly easy, all right? Now, here's part of it. How many square inches are in that round? Well, we can certainly calculate our main panel. We now know what width and length is there. Width times length, and I've got my, my footage or my inch there. But the round, that's, that's the harder piece, but it's really not, all right? Let's do this. The radius, that's our last term to deal with. Diameter all the way across, radius from the center point out. Easy enough, always half of diameter. Five inches, 10 inch diameter, five inch radius, all right? Remember this, pi r squared. Well, it's easy to remember because that sounds funny. No, pi r round. Well, pi r squared, pi, 3.14, we know what that is. r, pi r squared, r, that's just radius. That's all that means. But we're gonna take that and we're gonna square it. All that means is five times five, or that number times that number, all right? So, radius squared, five times five is 25. Easy enough, times 3.14. I have 78 and a half square inches of leather in a 10 inch round, okay? Here's kind of a little cool rule of thumb though. If you don't have to be exact, you're just buying, then say a 10 inch square, a 10 inch round is about 80% of the square. Easy enough to calculate, all right? But how much is that leather costing me? That's easy enough. We have 78 and a half square inches, all right? There are 144 square inches in a square foot. So what I'm going to do, let's say we're paying $8 a square foot for leather. I'm gonna take my $8 or eight, divide that by 144. That's gonna give me about five and a half cents per square inch. How easy could that be? Now, big panels, like I said, easy to calculate. Circles were, not now. Easy enough. All right, last thing though, waste. I tend to tack on 10% waste. We're gonna have waste, no way around that. But here's the great thing. You're probably only gonna have 5% waste. So you're in the plus there. But how do we calculate that? It's as easy as this. When you buy a hide, just weigh it. Just weigh the hide. Cut that hide down. Every piece of scrap that comes from that hide, throw it in a box. When you're completely done and you've gotten everything you can out of that hide, weigh your scrap and I bet you're gonna come in at 5%. Thanks for taking time to watch The Leather Element. I hope this is great information for you. Good luck with your projects.